Calispera Seolus. Welcome back to Tom Plays Civilization 6 for Absolute Beginners. We're back with the Greeks and Pericles. And I think we more or less finished the first phase. As in the part of a game where you'll settle as many cities as possible. Oh. Hello, Mahandas Gandhi. Sounds good. Right. I think he might be the final player by default, unless there's another one. Sorry, so as I was saying, kind of like in the early game, you want to settle as many cities as possible because each city you have makes a big difference. It's a big advantage. So we more or less reached the end of settling this land. I don't know if Cleopatra's actually planning to settle up here. I'm hoping we can beat her. We do have the edge on her. But we'll see. You can't settle any of the areas in red. Grey and green are an option. But yeah, this is one of the unintended results of having an alliance with her, unfortunately. She's got access to our lands. But we'll see. Maybe she'll manage to beat us, maybe she won't. Not a lot we can do either way. But yeah, we're hopefully reaching the phase where we're going to be primarily building the cities we have. But I am hoping that we can explore and maybe find new place to build settlers. But our nation is pretty much as it stands now. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 cities. Yeah, I think that's about right. You generally want around 10. And then you can start focusing on other things. So we have met Gandhi. Right, well, let's establish an embassy. Ah, there is one more player. So he's got a bad first impression of only slightly different type of government, but we've established an embassy, so that's something. Peacekeeper. Try to befriend those who maintain the peace. Well, that's good. So hopefully we have a good chance of building a strong alliance with Gandhi. So yeah, we'll do our best anyway to keep things peaceful. Ephesus needs more housing. Right, he wants a great work. And that is never going to happen. Never. 30 gold for 30 turns. I'm thinking no thanks. Also, don't really need that. What do I need? Well, the grapes would be nice. As would the oranges. Tell you what, let's knock those out. Let's see if he will just... Um... Yeah. We exchange tobacco for grapes, okay. My people would like to discover grapes, so why not? But yeah, I'm never going to hand over any of our great works. Except perhaps in exchange for another great work. Because pretty much everything else that gets traded is something temporary. It's usually for 30 turns. Whereas a great work is permanent. You don't want to trade something temporary for something permanent. Whoa! Okay. Apparently Cleopatra is uh, going for it. Or at least she's getting mildly hostile. So here we've got a theological war. It doesn't break the peace in any way. We can still be allies and attack each other theologically. It's meant to be like debate, but the damage your unit takes can be healed at a holy site. 
possibly other place as well, but certainly it's a holy site we can heal. I think possibly the hexes surrounding it we can also heal at. So Cleopatra is still a decent distance away. I think her nearest holy site is there, whereas ours is here. And if she loses, we get a boost in all the cities surrounding and Buddhism, her religion, gets a sort of negative, falls apart slightly. So it's actually quite dangerous engaging in theological warfare. Certainly if you're near a city. Okay, so we're suzerain of all of these cities. I'm just going to go straight for having one with Kabul as well. Still mostly concerned about remaining suzerain though. Seriously guys, you're giving me a heart attack here. Could you try and move a bit faster? So there you go, you can see the effects here. So we've had a tremendous boost to Athenism and the Buddhism has gone way down in all the surrounding cities. So Cleopatra's basically shot herself in the foot enormously there. Okay, so we need to heal our apostles. Let's send them back to the shrine and then we'll have them ready to fight another day. Ephesus, right. Ephesus is presumably just made another ranged unit. Are there any cities without one? Rhodes, Miletus and Knossus. Right, so we do still need them to make them. Okay, keep going then. Okay, so you, well you go to Rhodes first. It's probably the, in the most immediate danger. Oh yeah, Apostles, so rest and repair. Yeah, Cleopatra's definitely going for it. Not very happy about this. I can't help feeling like she's taking a bit of a liberty here. Almost enough to make me want to actually dissolve the alliance. Not sure I actually can though. No, never mind. It's not a huge deal anyway. We've got most of our city intact. Possibly we could even try to boost Athens a little. What are our, uh, our current policies, I wonder? Can we even get our current policies up? Should be able to. I would think reports, world rankings. Here we go. Okay, so there, there are probably policies which would allow us to buy land more easily. That's what I'm thinking. But it doesn't look like we can buy any more land in Athens. Hmm. Okay, fine. Oh, great musician points. Right, well in that case we should switch to musician because these are all cultural and we need to try and build buildings where we can store music. But in any event, that is where we want to go. So we're no longer doing the science. Ooh, our alliance with Cleopatra has expired. So hopefully that will make it a little harder for her. We can hope. 
probably not much, but she might at least have to go around this area, whereas we can go straight through. So we've got what one, two, three. The problem is if she decides to settle in one of the grey areas. Of course this is fifteen population, well even Athens is only on ten, so I don't think that's happening anytime soon. But that is a handy time for our alliance to run out. Yeah, you see she's gone. Um, yeah, I don't mind saying we're friends. Does that give her access? I might even renew the alliance. I'd just like to get this city settled first. Okay, brilliant. So we built a university. So we've got our boost to astronomy, which we wanted. So Athens can once again build something. Industrial zone or entertainment complex. Well, I would like an entertainment complex, but an industrial zone will help us to build other stuff. So we should probably go with that. Yeah, see, she's on her way, but I'm hoping we can get this city settled first. And then the only place you should be able to make a city will be along here, which I still don't want, but at least isn't as devastating. Okay, let's move my apostle back there for defence. Let's make an all. Okay, so the hope is that these grey areas will disappear once I found this city. Can't be totally sure. But it's possible. And just to be on the safe side, maybe we should just buy that piece of land there. by that one. Make it very difficult for it to get, get through here. Right, so we bought a couple. Bearing in mind we may have room for another settler. Okay, the Apostle gets a promotion. What I would like... Oh, brilliant, this is what we want. Wherever possible, debater. Plus 20 religious strength in theological combat. That is perfect. Okay, and crossbow man can just fortify. Brilliant. The question is whether we want to make another alliance with Cleopatra. <sighs> because it does make life easier for her. I don't know how easily we can cut this area off. I haven't got an easy way to see it, I don't think, or do I? There are a bunch of map options here. Okay, settler isn't clearly isn't quite what I was hoping for though. Government, a little closer. Political, tourism, empire. What I really want is to know. Oh there we go. Yeah, that's what I'm after. So it's still possible to settle in this area. I'm just wondering if buying these two might make a difference. strongly suspect that wherever we that basically she's going to beat us on the settling no matter what we do there we go it hasn't made a lot of difference I don't think 
No, I don't think we're on to a winner. I don't think we can stop a settling here, no matter what. I just slow her up by not renewing the alliance. But that's literally it. Okay. Can't be helped, I suppose. Okay, Sparta. So, same the old amphitheatre. Always going to want an amphitheatre. Right. Apostle. Where should you go? That's converting in seven, which is good. No signs of Eritrea converting. Even though Athenism is predominant. In fact, it looks a bit like she's converting us, so we probably could do with a missionary or something. Just to maybe convert our own cities. I mean, ideally, we could do with converting Kamasi. What have we got? Yeah, Trumzo. Not too bad. It's just can we safely convert Kamasi? Because she might have people guarding it. So maybe what I should do is send an apostle down there first. really good at theological combat. Okay, I think this is a good sign. I think I think Gandhi approves of us. This as we know is a bad sign. Our navy is weak. Well we are still trying to build it. It's only 28 turns to go. Yes, no problem with an embassy. We should stop trying to settle in my lands. I suppose we could just build settlers really quickly with Athens, could we? Probably not. Okay, so the missionary I want to send to Kumasi. The apostle will hopefully get there first. In case of attack, crossbowmen can just fortify, that's fine. Watching you, Cleopatra. I'm very determined. Okay, has that made any difference? seem to. Seems that she, it's possible for her to settle these lands no matter what we do. So I should probably stop wasting all my money buying land, really. It's clearly not helping. Just means we'll be able to hem her in a bit, I suppose. At least if we bought all this land, she can't try to claim it for her own city. Leave you exploring to me, okay. Well, she's happy about that, which is something. Neighborhoods that is an option partly for our housing. Legacy bonus, nice. Really, that interest in changing anything just yet. Ah. However, I do kind of feel like we should be attacking these apostles. Okay, what do we have a boost towards? Nothing. I oh, know we've got a boost towards researching astronomy. Okay. I'll go with mobilization. Three cores in your military. Still hoping to get boost to the others. Knossos, okay, well, Acropolis.
Is that the missionary? That is the missionary. Um, to be fair, the Apostle could probably spread a few things. going to backfire on her. I might even get Athenism in my son I. Okay. Research. Astronomy please. Definitely want astronomy. I've got three envoys. Right, in that case I would like to do the three cities, city-states we're already suzerain of, as I want to remain suzerain. It does give us quite a bonus. Let's go with that. Hopefully finish these guys off. Oh, not quite. Still, not bad. Why not? We'll make Kamasi as thoroughly Athenist as possible. There we go. Seem to have had that much effect, unfortunately. We have a new trade route. All right, so a lot of places want trade routes. So let's go for Kamasi first. So that fulfills a mission. That gives us another envoy in Kamasi. Apostle's going to need to rest and repair. Uh, this apostle I would like to bring home again. Didn't need them in the end. Cleopatra didn't get nasty, and you just finish for job. Right, so that should help. We are going to need to send someone over to Eritrea as well. Maybe even this apostle, to be fair. They can do a couple of spreads. So the um, doing spreads, even though it reduces the number of apostles you have, doesn't actually affect your theological combat abilities. So in some ways, we may as well get every apostle set down to one singular spread which we will never use okay i'm expecting cleopatra settlers to make a city any second absolutely you're probably my best bet for a long-term alliance I might try moving my musketeers there. They might get in the way, you never know. I doubt it. Okay, Athens has another trade route. So Seoul and Lisbon also both want trade routes. Well, let's do Lisbon first. Because we're suzerain and we want to remain suzerain. This apostle has rested and repaired. Great, why don't you go and do some spreading in Eritrea. you make a trader? Ooh, missionary. Just checking out, I can't ask her for a promise. She doesn't want to be friends. Okay, we have a great musician, Vivaldi. I'm not sure we actually have anywhere to store his music yet, but we do have a great musician. Okay, Corinth. Right. Well, we have a 
few things we could do with building. We have an Acropolis already. Entertainment complex would be good, although I'm wondering if we could do with another campus. And they do have a mountain, which does help. Let's go with a campus for them. There was a city-state that wanted us to build a campus. Antonio Vivaldi. Nope, I do not believe that we have anywhere to store music. So we're going to have to build an entertainment complex for that, I think. But I believe they will also help with culture, so... Egypt has denounced the evil deeds of Brazil. Ooh, interesting. Brazil's, um... Pedro, is he? Pedro the Grey? He is usually culture. So he's obviously not competing with us very well. Okay, Argos. Right, so... Well, we've already got an art museum, so let's do an archaeological museum. Because I do want to do both. Ideally equal numbers of both. Okay, so you fortify. Hopefully getting Cleopatra's way. We should try to build a settler. Right, they actually have five spreads. So let's just get Eritrea back Athenist, which they are. I suppose I could do a second spread just to be on the safe side. Might even put some pressure on Cleopatra herself, because she'll be surrounded by Athenist cities. We can always hope. Yeah, so Eritrea will convert in 102, and they will convert in 102. Kamasa's in no danger of converting, they're going to convert in 104 turns. So yeah, if I do another spread, hopefully that will make it us a bit firmer in our not converting anytime soon. Okay, we have a few options here. Hagia Sophia. How long would it take us to build a settler though? It's something I would very much like to know. Still 15 turns. But if we build a workshop, that might speed it up a little. Or maybe we should just set one of the other cities building a settler. So Athens can keep growing. Honestly, after all the efforts we've made to, to hem in this land, it may not even be worth finding a city here. But it wouldn't hurt to have a small one. Right, so that's now 194. Whereas they're still going to convert in the same amount of time. So I think we could safely send that apostle back. We should be fine for a while, at least. Say so she would like open borders and an alliance. She wants iron and cotton and she will give us money. I'm going to accept. I think she could easily settle if she wanted to. Here we are. Now in theory we should get on extremely well, although he's probably going to keep wanting to trade for cultural work, so we'll never be able to trade with him. Come to Brazil. Sounds good. I'm done. I don't know what happened there. <laughs> One minute, we're not exploring at all and she's happy. Okay, so we can actually now make a single army and we haven't even made any core units. We're in the modern era, roads are upgraded. An option for new policies. Oh, brilliant. We've probably got, yes, we now reduce cost by two gold per turn. Perfect. Again, a Cassus Belly, don't want it. Discovered two wonders. I wonder if this is just because we've made friends with people, to be fair. Eureka for steam power, recruit a great scientist, and recruit a great engineer. Okay. Right, so we've met for a second. So 
let us establish an embassy. In theory, we should get along with him quite well, even though he's also potentially our main competition as a culture victory. Okay, so we can now get colonialism in just one turn. Olympia. Okay. Well, I want you to build Necropolis as well. I want Necropolis everywhere we can possibly get. Okay. No half measures. See, their missionaries are going to have a go at Kamasi now. Kind of expected that. But, can't be helped. As long as we keep our cities, and especially Athens. Athenis, we should be fine. Okay, though, we need to change our policies particularly. You civic, okay, boost towards natural history. Have we already built an archaeological museum? Okay, in that case we should have built an art museum with that other one. More to the point, we really should... Ooh, Jane Austen, cool. We really should be building an archaeologist in the place that we've got an art museum. An archaeological museum. Okay, I'm going to do Toronto. And... Let's do a one in Seoul. Writer. Okay, you head there, but we've got room for another one in Argos, so that's good. It's quite funny with the Great Works, because it doesn't seem to be much advantage yet, but it's going to pay off tremendously in the end. It's partly when radio's invented, I think. Tourism goes through the roof. We just need to keep an eye on religion because that's probably our biggest threat. And it has to be said no Saladin. In fact, none of the people I would traditionally regard as obsessed with religion. we go. Now oh, here we go, Corinth. So we need to build an archaeologist in Corinth. So once you've got the museum, you need to make an actual archaeologist who can then go out and find usually three archaeological discoveries. Ideally, think of theming again, you need three from different sources, different countries, nations. Of all, barbarians counts as one but from the same era to make it themed. Right, now printing does allow our religion to spread faster, although I would like to think we're going to build two universities. I'm not likely to build two neighbourhoods, so sanitation will be good, plus it, I think it moves us towards democracy. Although we're also unlikely to build bombards, to be fair. Still, sanitation may well be worth having. I would like to get to democracy. So it generally makes for a better government. Okay, so Corinth is actually the one building a campus, unfortunately. It's going to hold up our archaeology a little. Oh, actually, it looks like maybe we couldn't build one until we've done natural history anyway. So that should be fine. Need another builder. Might be one for Athens. I might get them building a the wonder. Getting a bit of a bad habit of not doing wonders. Anything new? Nothing obvious. Okay.
so mass media would be good but we might research radio first have a neighborhood district with breathtaking appeal right we're not going to do that whereas we will do the field cannon so let's do conservation got a great artist good good that's what we need nice and I right Now, maybe you should make a builder then. So it is you who principally needs one. Okay. Two more envoys. We're still suzerain of those areas. Well, let's get Seoul. And Toronto a little higher. Oh, industrial. I see. an artist we do need another art museum maybe in Sparta them okay, so oh we've got two art museums oh that's fine then Okay, great, so that's a landscape. So, so far we have religious, sculpture, sculpture, landscape. Not a lot in common. Miletus, right, well, I did want someone to build a settler. So maybe you should. Built a trader, right, Seoul wants a trade route, so let's do Seoul next. That gives us a free envoy. Just want to keep a close eye on these missionaries. Nope, they've turned around and gone away again. That's fine. Don't really mind if they proselytize Harold. Probably not something we're going to do deliberately. Okay, apparently there's room for another work of art. So this is another landscape. Oh yeah, of course there is. So two landscapes will buy the same artist. Okay, so we're back in Athens. We've built the industrial zone as much as we can. We could do a neighborhood to help us grow but I'm thinking the big things we should do are the Bolshoi Theatre or the Hermitage plus three great artists per turn plus four great works of art slots Bolshoi Theatre, great writer, great musician both would be great, we want them both Bolshoi Theatre is a little faster so let's do that first but I might even do them both in Athens Right, so let's build another art museum. <laughs> and a third landscape. Okay, excellent. So, yeah, this has not counted as theming, so that's confirmed. I believe we need three landscapes, but they've got to be by different artists, because then they make a theme. So because these are all by the same artist, we, uh, we don't get theming for that one. So it's not bad, we get five culture, we get four tourism. I think it's mostly the tourism where the theming comes in, but we'll be able to see the difference once we've got one operational. 
which we will try to do. We see in order to make the theming work and really get the culture victory in the bag, you do need a, a fearsome number of great works. You really do. So you really want to be starting on getting the great artists, the great writers, great musicians from the beginning, which is what we've done. But it's, it's why we needed to start so early on. Okay, it looks like we've discovered the field cannon. So we're now in a position to upgrade all our units soon, which will help with the military. So let's send this one to Knossos. But yeah, we might want to change our policies so that we can update the military more cheaply next time and just update as many people as we can. Uh, right, so they could have done the Hermitage, but really we still need them to make field cannons at the moment anyway. Really need to build a second campus so that Ephesus can start bolstering themselves a little. Speaking of... They have an option for an encampment. Well, let's build one up there because that seems one of the less valuable areas. Oh, man, it's on the coast, isn't it? Yeah, maybe we should build it here. They're all slightly nice areas. But yeah, if we build an encampment in roads. Once that's fully tooled up, it can replace Ephesus and they can both share the duties of this for us. Ah, forgot about that. This is a problem. We're going to upset Gandhi by being too strong, but we'll upset Cleopatra if we're not strong enough. Interesting. A bit frustrating as well because Gandhi genuinely has nothing to worry about. But he won't declare friendship with us, that's fine. Pedro. No. It was worth a try. So, what is he, patron of the arts? Oh! Oh, that's unfortunate. So, he's actually going to dislike us because we're competing for great people. Okay. Bit of a problem then. <laughs> I was hoping we could get on with our shared love for culture and science. Got so much in common. So we have the ability to build national parks now. It's a military. Here we go, 50% discount on all unit upgrades. We're gonna to switch to that, which will cost us a ton of money temporarily. Hopefully choose a civic that won't take us too long. Okay, unfortunately we're going to have to go with this one because I don't know how quickly we can get a themed building. So although we'll have two field cannons in 23 turns, yeah, because I'm not sure when we're going to manage this. So we're going to be stuck with it for nine turns, but can't be helped, so let's do all the upgrades we can. Looks like we're still gaining money, so that's what matters. Oh, of course. That's given us a boost towards Scorched Earth. Oh, I feel silly now. I don't suppose I can change this either, can I? I can. Excellent. Right. So that means we should be able to switch back to the cheaper maintenance very shortly. So we'll just update every military unit we can afford. While we have 
the 50% discount. I think that's actually all of them. So I'd like to think that makes people less likely to attack us. I thought it might upset Gandhi more. Ooh. Can we upgrade these guys? Doesn't look like it. Okay. To be fair, musketeers are still fairly um, musket men, still fairly advanced. Right, but either way, if someone does attack us, we'll be far better off with a more up-to-date military. So that's great. Okay, right, Brunei. Right, I'm gonna get an envoy there anyway. Get level three with Toronto. And level two with Kabul. Need to go with the ones we're suzerain of next time though. So we might have a job making friends here. We might have to keep this alliance with Cleopatra. Simply because she may be the only friend we have. At least she doesn't mind if we keep building our military. Ooh. Egypt has settled somewhere. Not sure where. Well, we've got areas down here to settle, so we don't really need to try to poach our lands. Uh, you can fortify. tobacco and coffee and she will give us some money and open her borders well I don't need the open borders but yeah that's fine happy to do that maybe one day you will actually accept our us as friends So we want to go back to the Veillon Mass. Cool. That should make things a little cheaper. Right, so our next options. Have a themed building and research a radio. Okay, have a themed building is sort of beyond our control. So I might go for that next. Really hoping we can research radio soon. A new one, candy. Okay, you do get a bonus for having one, three, and six envoys, which is why I'm sending another envoy there. Uh, so I might bring Kabul to three. So I think that was because of the cultural discovery rather than a standard one. This is the standard one, so let's do Kamasi and Lisbon. Have to do Stockholm next time. Just in case other people are trying to become suzerain, we want to keep at least these three, not just for the benefits that we get, because we do get benefits, especially as Pericles, but because they surround our nation. So it's worth being suzerain because if anyone attacks us, they will join in on our side. So it makes us scary to attack so worth having okay so that's good i think quite happy with how that's gone so Miletos is building a settler might settle here if it's still possible to settle here because we can make use of some sea resources if nothing else and i don't think these hexagons are reachable from any of the cities so even though it'll be a small city it'll still have, it'll be a city, it'll still be able to do some stuff. However, there are also these islands, some of which are beginning to appear on the map. So we might want to send the settler to one of these instead, 
because we'll have far more ground. Also, we're about to finally have a navy, well, one frigate, so we'll start exploring these areas ourselves, even though we've discovered most of them just through learning about other people. So we'll have to decide what to do about the settler, whether it's better to take this tiny area on the coast just to finish off our little nation, or whether it's better to go to an island where the pickings may be a bit richer. Also, islands are great for culture in some ways because we can make holiday resorts on the coasts and things. So it might be good for tourism. So yeah, apart from that, it's looking good. We've got more Acropolises now. Uh, military is getting relatively advanced, keeping our suzerain status nicely, so I think we're doing okay. We managed to keep the religion at bay, even made some headway back, and we're still building a bunch of art-related buildings, so hopefully we can start looking for themed buildings next, even though we might not do it in nine turns. But that should give us a boost. So, just need to keep an eye on everyone. We have the best skull, which is always a good sign. Science, very hard to tell. Culture, we're massively on top. Gandhi is actually doing quite well. Oddly enough, better than Pedro. Maybe Gandhi's quite keen on culture. I've never actually played as India. Okay, so we should be good there. Domination, no one's doing anything. So religion, it also looks like... Uh, oh right, Tomiris is the Islam one. Right, so she's the big threat in terms of... religion. But at the same time, she's a very long way away, so hopefully she'll be busy fighting Gandhi and Cleopatra. Certainly we will not be making any aggressive stances, but we will gradually try and build up our apostles. The only problem is we may want to make national parks if there is anywhere we can make one, which does cost faith. You need to make a naturalist, I think it's like 5,000 faith or something ridiculous. Might be less than that. In fact, I can probably even check. 1,600, so it's not that bad, but it's quite expensive. It's like four apostles. Maybe just three in a bit, but yeah. So ideally I'd like to have Athens surrounded by apostles and probably another holy site also surrounded by apostles so they can easily defend the place from conversion and also heal themselves easily once they're attacked, just in case someone starts a massive religious war, because I still think that's the easiest way we will lose. Most likely way. So we do need to keep an iron religion. We've got to pick somewhere that can build a holy site. But yeah, apart from that, I think things are going pretty well. So hopefully we will have our own little age of exploration next time. And uh, yeah, maybe even start a bit of settlements on islands. We will see. But that's it for this time. So thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.